Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I have a quick video for you. I just wanted to share how my Rob Cantlii by Spectabilis is doing. It just opened up a new picture and I really wanted to share it with you. It's absolutely beautiful. Make sure and stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna go over some care tips and show you some video of the conditions that it's been growing in inside the tent. It actually just opened up yesterday and it's the biggest picture on the plant by far. You can see the beautiful colors on the peristome or the lip of the plant. The lid is fully open now and it's ready to start taking on some insects. I did want to talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing for care, but first though I want to thank you for being here. Make sure to like the video, sub to my channel for more great carnivorous plant content. My dream is to start a carnivorous plant nursery someday. You can support my dream by leaving a monetary contribution by using the thanks button below the video. You don't have to give me any money though. Just liking, subbing, commenting, or watching this video to the end helps me out tremendously. I really love the speckles on the picture. It really just makes the plant pop. I've been keeping it under my Barina grow lights for about 10 hours a day. I've recently reviewed those lights if you're interested, so check that out. The link is in the description. I've kept my tent around 50 to 70% humidity throughout the day. I really think you need some extra humidity to get the pictures to grow like this one. I wanted to give you some context on size. So if you take a look there, you can see that the picture from the top of the lid all the way to the bottom is about five and a half inches long, which is a pretty nice size picture. It's still in the substrate that it was sent in by California carnivores, long fiber sphagnum moss. The moss still looks pretty healthy, so I don't want to disturb it. At this rate of growth, however, I'll have to probably pot it up soon. Luckily, Nepenthes don't have huge root systems, so it should be okay in this smaller planter for at least a little while. I recently received this plant from California Carnivores. I just noticed that they actually do still have it in stock. So if you want to go check out their website, californiacarnivores.com, make sure to use my code CPHUB, that's CPHUB, at checkout. You'll get 10% off and actually have a link in the description directly to this plant and to some of their other cool plants if you want to check that out. The Rob Cantlii by Spectabilis really is a stunning tropical pitcher plant. Keep in mind, Nepenthes do not need a cold dormancy period, so you can really enjoy these plants growing year-round. They do like a drop in temps a little bit during the night, but it's just a bit. My daytime temps are around 75 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and they drop down at nighttime a little bit, probably to 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If you'd like to see me unboxing this plant so you have a kind of an idea of what it looked like when I first got it, so you can see just how far it's come since I've received it from California Carnivores, check out that video right there. It should be popping up for you right now. Thank you so much for being here and checking out this Rub Cantlii by Spectabilis. I really appreciate you. Make sure to sub to my channel. Make sure to like this video. All those things help me out a ton. And I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.